I must become stronger! Useful experience indeed! of the sickness. Speaking with complete honesty, I haven't an inkling what it might be. However... Grandpa! I'm fine, Limo. Forgive me. There is a matter I failed to mention when first we met. Several months ago, another celestial ship fell upon our land. What? A celestial ship? 
You mean besides ours? Only a short time after it fell. The strange monsters appeared, and people began to fall ill from the sickness. Monsters. And a mysterious illness. It all seems a bit too convenient to be a coincidence. Hmm. What do you think, Edge? Edge? Mm. Hello? Anybody home? What? Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, the other ship definitely concerns me, too. One might venture to guess that the other ship brought the source of the disease. It can't hurt to go take a look, at least. Gimdo, where is this other celestial ship now? It fell in the Rinoa Mountains, beyond Wind Swallow Valley. It is a rugged and craggy path. What's worse, the trail is bristling with monsters. It won't be a problem. Leave it to us. Oh, proper words of gratitude escape me. Please, take this with you. You will need it to pass through Wind Swallow Valt. <coughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Oh. Okay. I know. Limmel, you stay here with your grandfather. We'll take care of the source of the disease, okay? <gasps> It'll be fine. We'll be back soon. You don't have to worry about us. I'm sorry, Limo. The pain has passed. They are so strong, so kind, rushing into danger for the sake of others, without the slightest hesitation. Perhaps they truly are gods sent to us from the heavens. No, they're not. Edgy and Ray Ray and Faze aren't gods. Edgy and Ray Ray and Faze are friends, okay? You may go with them, little limo. Grandpa. You've never opened your heart to anyone, yet you let those people see your true self without any hesitation. That makes me very, very happy. But... Come now. You're going to cure me, aren't you? I'll be getting better soon. Raimi, hmm? this other ship, you don't suppose it's the Aquila? I thought you were brooding about something, so that's it, huh? It's not possible. Gimdo said the other ship crashed here several months ago, right? Can we be sure? Huh? I don't think Edge's theory necessarily misses the mark. Put simply, warp travel is movement accomplished through the distortion of time. Therefore... It's theoretically possible that an error taking place mid-warp could cause the ship to end up in another time entirely. For example, even an instance variance might cause a gap of several decades. Hold on. The Aramia... What about the Aramia? Ugh. Both of our ships encountered the warp anomaly, and we both landed on the same planet. But the Aramia crew was operating on their own. They didn't make any effort to rendezvous with us. Why would that be? There's only one answer I can think of. When the Aramia warped out, it arrived on Eos in a time prior to our crash. That's what you mean, right, Face? Precisely. So that means it really could be Crow's ship. But supposing it is, why would... Edgy! Lim? 
Aren't you forgetting something? You forgot your friend, Kay? Wow, we'd have to be pretty absent-minded to forget a friend, huh? Kay? <laughs> then let's go, Kay?
I did it, Kate. I did it, Kate. I did it, Kate. Not too shabby. Perfect. Nice.